Hi everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Abby Aslan and I upload two to three times a week, so you should totally go ahead and subscribe. I'm getting really close to 80,000 and I'm just excited to hit it, so it would really and truly mean the world to me if you did subscribe. If you are new here, I am in Dallas, Texas just for the summer and I have never not worked during a summer since I was 15. Um, this is my first summer just taking it off and all I'm doing is doing YouTube basically. And all I've ever really worn during the summers is whatever I was wearing to whatever work I had. And I've always just kind of worn like denim shorts and bought a few tank tops or something. But as I've been on YouTube now for a few years, I have just gotten really into fashion and just kind of like developing my own sense of fashion. And this summer I realized I would need more summer clothes since I would probably be doing things other than obviously working since I don't have a full-time job. And also being from Florida, most of the time I was wearing a bikini on the beach. If I was off work one day, I would always put my days off on the beach, so. This video is also like pretty special to me for a number of reasons. Number one, because I'm pretty sure this is like the first paid try on clothing haul I've ever done. Like most of the time when I've done clothing hauls, I've gotten the clothes for free, but I haven't been paid. And I'm actually getting paid for this one. So that's like a huge step for me. And I'm like kind of proud of myself for that, except for maybe one. I think I might've done one before. But so the big announcement, I guess, is that this is a Princess Polly try on haul and you guys have no idea, no idea, literally none. You don't have any clue how awesome this is for me just because I've been watching a lot of my friends on YouTube like do Princess Polly hauls and I'm just like dang I really wish they would reach out to me and I could like do a video for them because I've been buying their clothes for like a year and a half now. The little bit of summer clothes I did buy last summer were all from Princess Polly. Like every single thing I wore on my vacation to Mexico with my boyfriend's family was from Princess Polly. I'm just like in shock right now that like this day finally came because I feel like I've been waiting forever. So I'm just like over the moon about this to be honest and getting new clothes is always so much fun. Especially summer because I don't know, I just love summer. So I do have a 20% off discount code for you guys, and it is just ABBYXO. I will have it on here on screen, and I'll also have it in the description box in case you forget. And the thing that like really gets me <laughs> is that they have free express shipping, which takes two to three days to the United States and Canada if you order over $70 worth of stuff, which I typically like, I think every single time I've ordered off Princess Polly, that's what I've done. And if you're balling on a budget like I am, um, Princess Polly off also offers Afterpay, which if you don't know what Afterpay is, I know a lot of people like are sketched out by it, but I've personally used it probably like 10 times, which is a lot because I don't online shop that often. Um, but anytime I make like a big online purchase that's like over $150, I normally use Afterpay just because it hurts me to like take that much out of my bank account at once. And basically Afterpay just splits up your payment into four equal payments that are pretty much due two weeks apart, I believe. You pay like a fourth of it on the day you order and then the other three fourths um, like two weeks later and then you can like pay off the balance too if you just like are, don't want to pay the rest which I do that a lot and it's totally legit I've literally used it so many times I wouldn't tell you guys about it if it wasn't legit but Afterpay is really helpful if you like need to get things and you just don't really want to spend all of that money all at once and there's no interest as long as you pay it and have it in your account um, on this date. I am going to shut up now and let's just hop right into this haul because I've got so much to show you guys. So to start off with, this is unlike anything I have and it's a beautiful color. I just have this blue dress and the name of it is the um, Loretta mini dress. I got a US size 6 which is a UK size 10. This is like a bodycon dress with some ruffle detail at the top and it has adjustable straps which is so nice because normally these dresses don't have that. I can promise you guys this right now, I'm probably never going to get rid of this romper. There's something about it that I'm just like in love with. This is the Amina play suit and it is this crossover romper and it ties on the side which I love side tie things I don't know what it is but they're just so cute and fun and girly and I am like so into floral prints like this I just I don't know what it is but I this one especially how it has the blue and the pink in it I just really love because it just screams summer to me and it's like the perfect length that covers my butt which is like really important with rompers and I also got a US size 6 in this one and for reference I'm like usually a 4 6 in jeans like I have like a 4 waist but like my thighs and stuff are a 6 so I normally get 6s and just have to wear belts so next up we just have this romper and I really really like this one as well I've actually already worn this and I just like don't own anything navy blue so that's kind of why I got this and I also love the button trend right now. You'll notice a lot of these pieces have like button ups in them. I just really like button up stuff right now. Um, this also has adjustable straps and it's a great length. It has a line, like a white liner underneath it, which is great. 
and this is just really flattering on as well and I also got that in a size 6. This is called the Barrow Play Suit if you're wondering. This is yet another red floral dress. Who's surprised? I told you guys there was going to be a lot of floral and dresses in this but this is also button up. I'm just like not really leaving any room for surprises for you guys. This is the Rana mini dress in a size US 6, UK 10 and I got the color in red. And it kind of just like buttons all the way up to where it's like a v-neck dress but then the sleeves are ruffled and then this is just really flattering on and honestly I probably should have sized down in this um, just because it does have room in the waist for me and I just think that dress is the perfect length it's like the perfect little Sunday dress in my opinion like to wear to church or you can wear this like on a little like fun summer date and I honestly really 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 love red as a summer color because I feel like even when I'm not that tan red always still like will look good on my skin tone totally copying my good friend Brooke Michio here on YouTube with this one I saw her haul this in I want to say it was two Princess Polly hauls of hers ago but it might have just been her last one um, this is the Molina mini dress and I got a size 6 in it and I could have done a 4 in this one as well. I was just worried about the 4s being too small like on my waist because that happens a lot when I get like more fitted type of dresses. But it still fits good enough like the only thing is that there's just a little bit of extra room in the waist which is fine because I'm sure if I'm eating well in these dresses I'm going to be really bloated and I'm going to want that extra room. Um, this is just a beautiful flattering dress. It's like a little bit more narrow at the waist as you can kind of see by the cut and then the bottom of it kind of frills out so it gives you just like that hourglass look and I really like it and I did get a US size 6 in it. Now on to skirts. I am actually not a skirt person to be honest. Like I really don't ever wear them especially in the summer. I don't know what it is but I feel like I can never like get things to look good with skirts and I feel like denim skirts like aren't as popular now even though I do have one. I just don't really like always reach for it. But I did want to get some skirts because there's certain bodysuits and tops I have right now um, in my wardrobe that just don't look right with jeans or like um, tank tops or anything. So I, I was like maybe they'll look better with like a skirt and I definitely think that this will help my problem. So I got two skirts. I got this white one which is that same kind of like frill idea as the last dress I showed you guys. But it's kind of crisscross on the bottom here as you can tell um, with the side of it. The fabric's up a little bit higher and it's frayed on the bottom and it's just this pretty whitish cream color and the skirt fits me so perfectly. I got a US size 4 in this skirt and it is the um, cordon mini skirt. At Alabama skirts are like definitely something that I wear a lot for football season. Like I may not wear them a lot in the summer but I get a lot of use out of skirts in the fall. This next skirt I freaking love it. Like I got it just because I was like hey I don't have anything like that and it'll probably come in good use during football season and with these bodysuits that I keep talking about that I own that don't look good with anything. This is the Razzo mini skirt and I got a size US 4 in this one as well and they fit me so perfectly. I'm so happy I got a 4 because they would have been too big in the waist if I didn't. This is just like a faux leather black skirt but I love, love, love this freaking cutout right here. It just like takes the skirt to the next level and this looks really expensive to be honest. And then it has like a silver zipper in the back. And this is really flattering on. I love the length of both of these skirts I got. Like everything I got is just like so freaking cute. I can't get over it. But at the same time, it like fits so well. And I'm just so pleased. So this next top, I have so many top style like this that are puffy sleeved. And I just think they're so cute and flattering on and just really girly and fun. And they look so good with denim shorts or like high waisted jeans. This is the Laura top and I got it in red. This top like fits me perfectly. Like it's really close to being too small. It can be worn. I kind of showed you guys in the try on portion that it can be worn like either on the shoulders like this or off the shoulders and it looks really great either way. I think on the models they kind of have it's like resting on the shoulder so kind of like at an in-between. Another summer color that I love is yellow and I know not everyone loves yellow like likes to wear it and everything but when I'm tan it's one of my favorite colors to wear but I hate wearing yellow when I'm pale and this is just like a bright like lemon color but it's not fluorescent by any means and it's the same exact style except in the back it's like ruched and smocked and it's just beautiful and I don't have anything this color for summer so I just really wanted to branch out and get it. I got a size 4 in this one for some reason instead of like the other one like getting a 6 but um, this one almost didn't fit when I was like buttoning it with a regular bra but I'm sure if I wore it normally it'd be fine. This is the Abe crop top in lemon and I know they have other colors in this too. Next up is a top I have on right now. It's so freaking cute. I absolutely love how the sleeves are like layered and fluttered and then it's just collared and it just has like a floral pattern all over it and I just thought this was like a little bit more of like a casual I can't remember the name of this top but I will put it on the screen and yeah I just really like it it's definitely like a cropped shirt so it looks really good when it's like tucked in the front 
to high-waisted jeans or shorts and that's just how I styled it today when I went to brunch another top I have which is this is like the last like regular top I have this is just like a cropped black collared linen shirt and it's really really cute once again this whole button trend going on right now um with the little like tortoisey button it's just like a v-neck and I don't really have any like black um girly dressy shirts I feel like most of my black clothes are more like um nighttime apparel like for like going out I thought this was more of like a conservative type of black shirt but it is definitely on the crop side so you do have to wear it with something high-waisted for it to like look normal and everything but I just really like it a lot because it's unlike anything I have and I got this in a size 6 and this is the maple scry crop top last clothing item I got is just this bodysuit I've had my eyes on this for a long time on Princess Polly this is the one love bodysuit and I got it in a size 4 in the color nude and it's just like this mesh as you can see it's see-through in the back which I think is pretty cool but then the front's not see-through because it has like um, another layer and it's like ruched and I think that's just really flattering on the chest area and then it's gathered on the sides as you can tell and then it buttons on the bottom last but not least from Princess Polly I got this because I figured I wouldn't want to like buy it myself um, I got this because I've been kind of like dying to try it out so I thought this was a good time to do so this is the Bondi sand self tanning foam in dark um, and it has a coconut scent is what it says I haven't used it yet Oh my gosh, uh-uh, no way. I haven't even like opened this yet. Like I just opened it out of the bubble wrap and this smells so amazing. It smells like sun bum without the sunscreen in it. Like it literally just smells like straight up coconut. I've seen this all over Instagram and YouTube and I'm excited to try it because I have loving tan and I like it and I've always liked it and it's what I've always used. The past few times I've used it, it hasn't really gone on evenly and I don't know if that's my fault or its fault and like it fades like unevenly but I think it's like from my applicator I need to get a new applicator so like a new little mitt but um yeah I got the shade dark just because that's what I did with loving tan and this is like a big bottle so I like that it'll last a while and it's just like the mousse And that concludes my Princess Polly haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did like it. I'm so excited to just like wear all these things and I'm like really excited to hang them up in my closet right now. And I just love everything I got so much. I'm so happy it all fit. And I definitely recommend you guys trying them out. You can use my code ABBYXO for 20% off whenever you check out. And remember that if you spend $70 or more, you get the free two to three day express shipping, which is such a an awesome deal. I love you guys. Be sure to subscribe and follow me on social media, which is always linked down below. I have everything that I have an account on linked below, so check that out. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.